Brother Kenny. Salam, salam, guys. Salam, salam. Indeed, man. <laughs> Welcome to Musicology. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. I'm happy. What's the best thing that happened to you this month? Today. What's something that recently moved you? Trip home. I went to DC. Wow. It was beautiful. Nice. Family, friends, music, catching up with old friends too. Yeah. Uh, who would you want to perform with, local or international? Mm. I would love to perform with, from international, a guy called Anderson Pack. Hey, hey. Well, that's exactly what it came for. Huh. You, throwing shots from afar, I'm gonna meet you at your front door. From local, I would, I would like to perform with Ziri too. If you could teach one subject in school, what would it be? Life. <laughs> yeah, life skills. Sure.
Okay, my first question would be like, uh, I know you're Ethiopian by heart, yes. but where exactly are you from originally? Uh, Washington, D.C. Okay. Yeah, Mulu Bay is uh, Okay. Come on. You, oh. you, your Amharic is doing a lot better. Yes, you shall come. And so you can do English in any Amharic. No problem. Toronto. We can do combo. Actually, but I'm Toronto. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Tell me about your childhood. I mean, in DC. What, what does it look like? You know, and not about music and which natural. And so started piano, chawatan. And because of all, but I'm interested in the recording. Okay. So let's see. But as I said, I'm interested in four track number. Four track recorder and uh, but church uh, choir solo menamen number. So let's see, but church choir and uh, and that uh, but music a temerit that ka temerit bohala would leila music a temerit. Any so let's see, who like is a music a music a any like piano number, trumpet, uh, drum. Wow. So let's see, but ka temer tibet bohala, any ba musica mukara. Training. Ah, oh. so let's see, uh, what uh, asara sedist, asara sabat, uh, zephan, uh, I start writing songs. Writing songs. <laughs> Kaza uh, Bola College Gaba in the music minim minimisak in Guadinia Suena Ficarina and undefinitely music Michauti Ichalan. Ah, Ichalan. Kaza Bola would and Aratenia Arat Sauch group and the boys to men. All right. And a cappella group. Vocals. Kaza Bola. Asu, ah, guitar I'm trying to find Ah, guitar, but I'm not sure. I'm not So let's see. Any bami jamaro, how I am at guitar jamaro. You started playing guitar. Ah, kaza, makina lai, guitar lap lai. Obsessed. On the way to school. On the way to school, everywhere. Wow. So let's see. So you taught yourself how to play guitar. Ah, ah. There is no formal music education. That's just. Uh, I mean, yeah, no. yeah, not the formal way. Yeah, not because the formal way. I've seen you back in the days. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell the the chords or by name, but you definitely do it by <laughs> ear. By hearing, that's the American way of understanding yeah. music. Yeah, which, man, just play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is very impressive. Yeah. Got a little story to tell y'all. No. About four years ago, a man stepped to me. He said, Do you want to go to Sweet E.T.? He met me in a bookstore. Kenny, said, Why how long have we been here? I mean, it's been like more than 40, 14 years since yeah, we know each other. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I remember when you first came here and you throw a show at Harlem Jazz. Harlem Jazz. That was Harlem Jazz. the very first. Um, totally Tell me about it. it. How did you, how do you come to Addis? Uh, and the uh, fine niche, uh, Wayne Ami Ba. Wayne, yeah. Wayne uh, Kawina Gar, guitar Chawatarlo, and uh, Emmanuel Mokria uh, in uh, Jordana, uh, Harlem Jazz, Jamaica. Yeah. The owners of uh, Harlem Jazz. Yeah. And now, uh, uh, they asked Wayne, do you know anybody like this guy who want to come to Ethiopia for six months? Said, Ask him. And uh, in any number, like uh, Europe, Asia, Kalela South Touring, in uh, uh, Africa, I'll I'll get bump. So that's it. Uh, you met so uh, ticket darling. Minimum check in. That's it. And uh, get bump. And uh, salam number. America, Regim is a record deal. Uh, I'm trying to find record deal. And uh, but I'm you kept down. Any talent, no, but again, yeah, schmoozing. 
ذكر دي إني إني ألف لهم سلازي إزي قال إزي هاجا سلام أكيد شاء الله When was your first time you performed in front of a crowd? I, I, the Red Circles and Sunbeams, which was the, my church choir, which little kids. Uh, Sunbeams were little, Red, uh, red Circles were, were the big people. I was, I was three years old. Well, I had a solo. Well, what was the song? I don't, that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Play the line here. Uh, your favorite lyrics of all time? My favorite lyrics of all time. There's some Tribe Called Quest songs, which is like uh, a 90s hip hop that okay. always in my head. Oh, what's something that you can't do? I can't play jazz, like proper jazz. Uh, but I, in my mind, I do. <laughs> but in reality, but you feel it. it just doesn't work out like that. I sound okay. like Lisa Simpson from oh. The Simpsons. Yeah. Wow. Especially the What's the one habit you wish you could break? Uh, one habit. Uh, I think sometimes I get too hard on myself, oh. and I think I do that often enough to call it a habit. Okay. So I wish I could be. You know, I wish I could not Easy. be, I wish I could be easier on myself, <laughs> yes. Traveling winding roads, ways you can barely see. When you're feeling overwhelmed, sometimes you just gotta breathe. Everything coming fast, ways you can barely see. And when you're feeling overwhelmed, sometimes you just gotta breathe. Cause even in the hour darkest, you can find a little light. Grateful for the simple things, especially the gift of life. Every morning that I wake up, heart is still beating. I'm so thankful. Life's never easy. It goes up and down. So long as I'm standing, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. So thankful. Bless me with a home in Zion. You bless me with a family. And giving me a voice to sing praise and a faith I believe. It's a joy to watch the kids grow. The youth them grow so fast. I wish that I could press pause just to make these moments last. And even when we're facing hard times, we still got what's in our heart. And every star. I'm so thankful. 
Favorite song, one of my favorite songs from you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Abyssinian. Abyssinian. Girl, you remember doing it Abyssinian. in Harlem Jazz? Wow. <laughs> it was like. Uh, Do you have any Abyssinian girl in, in your life? Man, <laughs> I'm looking, you know? Still? Still looking, man. Still trying to connect <laughs> I know. on a deep level. It will happen someday. Yeah. Can I hunt like Sarah? Is my oh, yeah. mistake. Oh, yeah. Priority. <laughs> <laughs> Idolum, Mr. A. Idolum, Mr. A. Okay. Sarah. Okay. I'm married to the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the legacy. All right. Laying in my bed, I thought I wouldn't wake. So much on my mind, I felt like I could break. Looking for relief, a chance to release all the pressure. How many albums? Oh, shit. Uh, cement. cement. So far. So far. Including the new one. Including the new one. Wow. What makes you a very special and different person is uh, you write your own songs, you produce your own stuff. I mean, you do everything. What, what, what does it feel like? Doing everything and crafting what you visualize in your mind. I mean, how do you feel in Kalela Sao Ishala? And it's like talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you say Kalela Sao, but I'm not my friend of God. Uh, in the conversation. Who let who let music in which Abrin Ichawata? Conjono, like conversation. Like both in the you know, talking to yourself like, hey Salamo and yeah, I'm good, I'm good, yes. But Kalela saw but I'm conjono. Gin Balafogese gins up your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music can you know, hiring musicians. I you know, I said, Well, maybe I can save a little money by learning how to play the bass guitar, you know. So, how do you know? Like, I'm done to say, Mata, you know, late mm -hmm. night, turn on the computer, yeah. make a song. But what a feat, and I'm going to call it the last song. I'm going to call it the last song. I want you to, uh, I want to take you back. How, how, how does the American music scene mm -hmm. look like? I mean, it, you told me it's difficult, but you, 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 you go to, the, to DC every now and then, mm -hmm. you jam with bands. Yes. How does it look like? I mean, what's different from here, from Addis? Yeah, I jam with Buzu music in which I live. And the uh, Asher drummer, I call it, and the Asher basses. So let's see, uh, if it's not going good, you like... You can buy. Hello. <laughs> you have again, options. Oh, again, uh, the reference point, you know, like, we know the same things, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the music, the musicians my age and a little bit younger, we at least know about Motown. Mm -hmm. We know about hip hop. Mm -hmm. We know about rock and roll. We know about pop music now, so... This is the, the part that excites me the most. But not seem like some things you don't have to say. You know, you just mm -hmm. be like, yeah, you feel it. So can we say Kenny is a strictly R&B artist? Is that so? Or I don't know. Any Sting was my my my, my role model. Because Sting would make an album and he would have country western song, yeah. reggae song, uh, rock and roll song, yeah. R and B song. I just write songs. Like for me, the song is the star. Mm -hmm. I serve the song. I'm, I work for the song. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how. Yeah. That's Whatever how. comes. Yeah. And what? Sometimes you, it's like a tarik, no? Mm -hmm. Like Minaynet soundtrack, le eh tarik, ishala. Every time. Hmm, this song, it's it's a uh, it's conscious, so maybe it should oh, yeah. be a reggae song. Oh, yeah. What's something you'll not be doing in ten years? Uh, I will not be underpaid. 
<laughs> what makes you laugh, no matter what? Dave Chappelle. <laughs> okay. What's one thing you still have from your childhood? Uh, my mom has been giving me what they call matchbox cars, which are these little okay. metal cars. And I just realized that she was giving it to me to collect over the years, but I still have some from very young. So matchbox wow. cars, yeah. Wow. What does creativity mean to you? Creativity is a conversation with the creator.
you even covered uh, Gash Mahamud's Guraginya. Yes. A very good uh, version of Gash Mahamud. He's my favorite yeah. of all times, always. Like yeah. he, I, I feel like he's my my family. Wow. Like his That's music crazy. makes me feel like I'm a part of his family. Wow. Yo, Jay Leno, how y'all feel? You feeling all right? We're gonna do this thing. Well, I really do. Say, she like to have money in her pocketbook. And you've been working with big names. I mean, I have seen this video of concert, live concert, about Misha. Yeah, yeah. Michelle is, is, a, is in the family, like she yeah. was uh, a very close friend to some of my mentors, Sean Rickman and Federico Peña, wow. and these are like really, um, I mean these are people that I just, I bow to, like wow. they're, they're, they're so great musicians, True. you know, True. and they also taught me about life, you know, yes. more than music, you know, my, he, my, my one friend, uh, they were having feud together, and he wow. said you cannot separate life from the music. True. So the life is, is part of the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you find Ethiopian music, modern music especially? How do you find it? I mean, t from back then till now. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's really coming a long ways from from the begin from back. People are opening up, you know, mm -hmm. the, the the sound, you know, and a lot of the things I think that music, the Ethiopian music is a lot based on the lyric mm -hmm. and the melody. But now I'm starting to feel yeah. the groove, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like it's good. What do you want to tell uh, to your songs? I always want to talk about hope, Testa, you know? My, sometimes you be very sad. But all, I, I never like to write a really sad song mm -hmm. because I feel like it reminds people of the sadness. So I would like to take a sad situation and, and talk about the, the bright side of it or talk about the, how it can be, you know, yeah. how you can get through it. You know? yeah. So there's always, it's always been a spiritual aspect of true. the music. True. And that's why I didn't make it big in America. Mm -hmm. Because my music mm -hmm. was always more spiritual than mm -hmm. it was Talking about, you know, Comrade Chat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, so this is, this is why, and another reason why I, I enjoy making music in Ethiopia is because it's a very spiritual place, you know? So I don't feel bad about it. You know, I don't feel like, oh, if I make the music like this, like mm -hmm. uh, nobody's gonna sign me, or, you know? Now I just make music for, my, for the what love of music, for the love of God. She wants What inspires you to, to write a song? Mm -hmm. I used to write all the time. I used to have a pad of paper. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm making an album, if I say, now I'm going to make an album, then I have a pad of paper all the time. Okay. And it's life, you know? You have to live, you know? Life, you put the life into the music. You live, and then you put that life into the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you, and that's the only way I know how to make music. When I try to, to do things that are not like that, mm -hmm. I always go back to the realness of it, mm -hmm. you know? So life inspires me. Love, okay. I love everything about life, you know? Mm -hmm. Lights. The way water drips down on a on a on a tin roof. Mm. I hear the music. I'm like, did you hear that? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. The way yeah. the light comes in through a, a curtain and that makes that 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 thing. Yeah. And I start to see colors in music. Yeah. You know, as of late, like, wow, that looks purple. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds sure. purple to me. <laughs> you know, so you just translate that everything into yeah. music. Sweet like honey is how I remember. Mountain highs in the golden September. How I always love the sound of your name, like a gentle breeze so, over water. What are your influences? I mean, you you mentioned Sting, but mm -hmm. other than Sting, or do you have some particular artist or record or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I grew up on Michael Jackson, Prince, uh, Sade, Bob Marley, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, and you know the list goes on. Marvin Gaye, 
but there was a lot of R&B in my house, a lot oh, of yeah. soul music, you know? Oh, yeah. Both, all, all, there was a lot of records. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaac Hayes, <laughs> you know? And then hip hop, you know, like in the 90s hip hop. 90s R&B and hip hop yeah. is really in, in me, you know? It's, uh -huh. Yeah, it's conscious, yeah. it's funky, and it's, it, it was modern at the time, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. What do you have uh, as an advice for up-and-coming artists? Yeah. I mean, learn, 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 and never think that there is an end to it. Mm -hmm. Learn like you'll never finish learning, <laughs> you know? Crazy. It never ends. John Coltrane, mm -hmm. one of the greatest saxophone players of, our, of life, practiced 12 hours a day mm -hmm. until his passing. And he was the best in the world, but he never stopped practicing. Wow, beautiful.